In this video, we're creating a cinematic lightning text effect in DaVinci Resolve. On the Fusion page, add a 3D text, a 3D renderer, and a background node. Connect the 3D text to the 3D renderer, then to Media Out. Enter your text, adjust the size, and you can choose a different font. Open the extrusion settings, set bevel depth to 0.0001 and width to 0.006. This keeps the bevel thin and subtle, so the text edges look clean. Go to the shading tab, turn off use one material, then change the bevel material to image. We do this so we can create a new connection point for the bevel. Connect the background node to it. Go to the background node controls, switch it to gradient. Now the thin beveled edges become visible on the text. On the black color, set alpha to zero. Drag the white color to adjust it, then set a keyframe for offset at the start and pull the gradient all the way down. At around two thirds of the timeline, add another keyframe and move the offset so it's fully white. This creates a smooth transition on the bevel, making the text appear gradually. Add a new background node. Change the material type to image. This gives you a new tab where you can connect an image source and attach the background node to it. Change this background to gradient as well. Change the text color to white. Now you can see the gradient inside the letters. In the shading tab, set the mapping level to word. Go back to the background node. Set the alpha of the black color to zero. On the other color, choose any shade depending on the transition you want. I'm using black here as well, and set its alpha to around 0.3 so the video will be visible underneath the text. Set a keyframe for offset at the start and pull the color down. After the two thirds point, Add another keyframe and push the offset until it's fully colored. This way we get a color transition on the text, with the alpha around 0.3. Add another background node. From the Render 3D node, connect the output to this background. This lets us layer and style the rendered text separately from the rest of the composition. Go to the Background Node Settings tab and change the channel to Luminance. This will output only the brightness values, which we can use to drive the look of the text and set the value to around 0.2. This keeps the upcoming rays effect subtle. First, change the color to white, then press Shift plus space and add the raise effect. Connect this to the Render 3D, creating a merge node. Go back to the Edit tab and place the background video under the text. Then go to the Color tab and use Automatic Correction to enhance the background's brightness and colors for a better match with the text effect. If you enjoyed this effect, hit the like button and subscribe for more tutorials. Go back to the Fusion tab and set the raise threshold to zero. The other values can be adjusted to your preference. Keep in mind, the result also depends on the background node's luminance value, since the rays are generated from bright areas. Go back, press Shift plus space, and add two soft glow nodes after the rays. Set the gain to a low value and the glow size to a higher value. These can be adjusted to your preference. Once that's done, go back to the background node and switch it to gradient. Here we want the edges and the center of the text to have different colors, so we add another slider to the gradient. Choose a darker blue for the center and white for the edges. Set the alpha of both edge colors to zero. This makes the center color stand out more, and when we animate the offset, the colors will move across the text. You can use only two colors or even three, it's up to you to choose the look you prefer. Next, go to the offset, set a keyframe at the start, then add more keyframes along the timeline and change the offset value. This creates moving colors across the text. This could also be done using ping pong, so the color movement automatically goes back and forth. We have three more short steps to complete the perfect cinematic lighting effect. Go back to the raise node and add keyframes to the exposure setting along the timeline. By gradually increasing and decreasing this value, we enhance the cinematic feel, adding a natural flicker and variation to the lighting that makes the text effect more dynamic and alive. Go back to the background, add a transform node, reduce its size, then set the wrap option. Add keyframes to create horizontal movements, giving the background a subtle cinematic motion. Back in the edit page, go to effects, find flicker edition, and drag it onto the text. Set the speed to 3.5 and the speed length to 0.24. This adds a fast, subtle flicker that makes the text feel more energetic. Preview it with just the text to see the effect clearly. And that's it, your perfect cinematic lighting text effect is complete. Experiment with the values to match your own style, and make your titles truly stand out.